The first day that I arrived in El Unito, I knew it was a special place. Right off the bat, everyone was so kind, generous, and excited. I could also see the curiosity of the kids. The little ones would hide behind their parents' legs and give shy little laughs when I waved or smiled, and the older ones were constantly checking to see if they could help or bring us anything. After our first meeting and meals, I asked one of the kids if they wanted to take us on a walk and show us around, and that was the beginning of lifelong friendships. The first conversations were so reserved. We talked about town, our families, and they were polite about my subpar Spanish. Afterward, we sat in the backyard, eating fresh-picked oranges and comparing words. They learned English in school, and were excited to learn more words. We spent hours sitting in the dirt, pointing at random things, and then we would say the English words, and they would say the Spanish words. We laughed at each other's pronunciations, and grew sticky with orange juice. At some point, we were talking about flowers, and one of the boys brought Pam and I beautiful pink buds to put behind our ears. I also told them that one of my favorite foods was bread, and that night, they brought some sweet bread for all of us to share. From there, our friendship only blossomed. We played card games, watched TV, played soccer in the streets, went on hikes, taught each other handshakes and patty cake games, and talked about pretty much everything. In just a few days, it felt as if we, they had welcomed us into their family, and we got to know each other so well. On New Year's Eve, we lit off some fireworks in the street and played some games, but later we went to watch the bigger fireworks. A couple of the older kids took us up a hill where we could see the uh, fireworks from at least three neighboring towns, but we got there long before midnight. To pass time, we played games and attempted to build human pyramids, but we also talked. They asked us about California, university, our families, and they told us about their lives. As Pam and I told them stories about traveling, skiing, food, roller coasters, etc., you could see their excitement grow. They told us about the places they want to go, the things they want to see, and the people they want to meet, and they deserve to do it all. These kids were some of the most generous, fun, creative, and hardworking people I've ever met. They all have big dreams and want to do the best for themselves and their families. Every kid does their part. Every single one of them, even the four-year-olds, picked up a shovel to help dig the trenches at some point. They helped their parents prepare meals by collecting fruit or going to get water, and they helped each other, older kids tying little ones shorts or challenging each other to various games to pass time. My point in all this is that not only are the Water Committee and the adults of El Unito amazing giving people, they are also raising amazing giving kids. I'm honored to have had the opportunity to get to know some of these people and to be a part of their improving their futures, and I hope myself, EWB, and anyone else will continue to do so for years to come. And may the future of El Unito only continue to grow and prosper.